Since Jurgen Klopp took over Liverpool in 2015, the club owners Fenway Sports Group have given him just 20 footballers worth at least 10 million euros. Over the same period, the Stingy Glazers signed 27 expensive players for Man United. Arsenal 28, Man City 32, Spurs 36 and Chelsea 47, inspired by cowboy Todd Boehly. John Henry from Fenway Sports Group, or FSG as fans call them, is not as extravagant as his fellow American, but does this make him and his people bad owners? After all, that's what lovable fans say from time to time and sometimes they really want to drive or more like fly the message home. Unfortunately, spending alone has become the cornerstone and the yardstick of measuring the owner's input. Maybe it's video games or social media that skewed our perception of football. Cooking in the transfer window gets fans more excited than watching actual games. But it's not like FSG don't cook in the transfer market. Granted, it's not white truffles compared to rivals, but it's still delicious. You just cannot even call them stingy. It was FSG who threw the mega money at Brighton for Moises Caicedo, who somehow believed Chelsea is a better project. Ok, FSG don't sign as many players as their opponents, but you can say they are clearly quality over quantity. Perhaps the last time Liverpool signed a role player for big money was in 2018 when they got Naby Keita. But even that looked like a smart investment at the time. PSG may be one or two signings behind the schedule, but it feels like the problem is somewhat overblown. Nowadays, some fans will even go for Virgil van Dijk's head if he commits a rare error and say PSG should have signed this or that guy, and of course, he would never make mistakes. But FSG never made that promise. From day one, they preached self-efficiency. You spend what you earn, and what you earn is driven by smart decisions at each level of management. Liverpool have the third best commercial revenue in the Premier League, much above the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and Spurs. Of course, fans don't sing songs about revenue, but they do sing songs about players. And transfer money doesn't magically appear in your coffers, unless you have a bunch of fake sponsors in Asia. At the end of the day, the way FSG operate translates into success on the pitch. Three Champions League finals, each domestic cup and the first Premier League title in 30 years. If only Man City hadn't been that good in the same timeline. FSG's unshakable trust in Jurgen Klopp is another box they check as club owners. You know, fans sometimes pity Klopp, but he knows exactly who he works for. He acknowledged this in July 2023 by saying, Since I've been here, we have had to live within our means. The problem is not our situation, it's just in comparison to the other main teams. We have to be on point. There is not a lot of space for failure. End of the quote. And then of course you've got the Anfield expansion that will make the Liverpool home an even better place and boost more revenue. Don't forget that the club also built a new training ground not long ago so that's a lot of money. FSG aren't financing the expansion out of their pocket, which once again aligns with their strategy. You pay what you earn. In the words of James Pearce from The Athletic, FSG have been very clear they wouldn't take money out of the club, but neither would they inject their own cash. All of this makes FSG predictable and consistent owners in a good sense. They aren't trigger happy like Todd Boehly or passive like the Glazers. Sometimes you have to appreciate what you have. And to appreciate what FSG have done, you don't even have to compare them to previous owners Hicks and Gillette. You just have to look at the Premier League table and the Champions League knockout stage bracket. Every year, Liverpool are always there competing. Even when Gary Neville sends FSG his warnings, Jurgen Klopp's team proves him and everybody else wrong. Because Liverpool are built this way, not in the least by their underappreciated owners. So when the next time Liverpool have a couple of bad results or don't sign your favorite footballer, take a deep breath, watch this video again and remember, things will get better. If you enjoyed this episode, please like it so more people can watch it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. See you in other videos.